Rob, what the fuck have you been doing all month? We need to get some stuff recorded already. I, uh, I, I deeply regret asking. I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a just do a solo video. You know, 2018's actually been a pretty decent year for mecha shows. Trigger's been doing its level best to throw plenty of hype mecha our way, with both their major releases this year featuring giant robots and the fighting of them thereof. Surprising basically no one, you also have Sunrise rolling out yet more Gundam shows, with Gundam Build Divers being their latest offering. And that's not to forget the fact that we've got a new Full Metal Panic series, as well as Gena Rubuchi's continuing attempts to shove a load of sci-fi shenanigans into the Godzilla franchise. But there's been a particular mecha show that may have flown under the radar this year for a fair few folks, despite it debuting in what was easily the slowest season of 2018, and I'd like to take the opportunity to point people towards it if they haven't yet had a chance to give it a watch. So let's talk about Planet With, my dude. <laughs> Even the most brief of glances at Planet With and its general style and aesthetic will tell you that it's a bit of an unconventional show. This is very much in keeping with Satoshi Mizukami, the creative force behind the series and author of equally unusual manga series like Lucifer and The Biscuit Hammer. This unconventionality extends beyond the visuals too, since Planet With is pretty far from your average action and sci-fi robot setup. Okay, quick overview. This is Soya. He's an anime protagonist who has amnesia. Wait, hold, hold on, hold on just a second. I, I swear this does get better. He lives on some shoreline city in a flat alongside a girl constantly decked out in gothic lily to get up and this curious fellow. See, told you, told you it got better. <laughs> Anyways, the plot comes knocking in the form of giant floating objects in all manner of weird and wacky shapes that appear in the skies over the world one day, and which are resistant to all forms of conventional weaponry. Luckily, there are seven heroes of daring do on hand to stop these invaders. Soya is not one of said seven heroes of daring do, however. He's actually out to kick their asses. It only gets weirder from here. We've got mecha fights, cute ally figures, we've got overly dramatic side characters, we've got this motherfucking cat dude, we've got giant mecha fights, we've got a go-to space plot line that would get trigger hard, and so much more. Combine all that with a wonderfully bright and distinct visual style and a tightly packed, well-written story, and you've got a damn good piece of mecha animation right here. Satire is a term that gets tossed around a little too much these days, but Planet With is very much deserving of the term. It's out to twist and play with the conventions of mecha and action series, to defy and poke fun at the tropes. This is something Mizukami and JC staff make clear right from the get-go by reversing the positions between heroes and villains that they commonly hold in these series. Soya isn't part of some noble group of unorthodox heroes out to stop an alien invasion. Hell, you'd be forgiven for thinking he's actually on the side of the invaders at the start. Some people might be surprised to see the tag science fiction attached to a show about psychic soldiers and weird humanoid cats, but having watched through the whole experience, I say it's deserving of being listed under the genre. For all the strange elements, Mizukami still manages to explain his characters, the technology on display, and the overall story in a remarkably consistent manner. Everything from Soya's hot-headedness, a staple of anime protagonists, because he's actually an alien from a planet of highly aggressive humanoids, to the mecha that Grand Paladin shoot about in, it's because they're actually manifestations of their psychic powers, their forms representing aspects of their pilot's personalities is explained as part of the setting, and all of it is used to build towards the story Mizukami wants to tell. Planet With sound design is something I'd also like to single out for praise. It's an often overlooked yet integral element to a show that can really add to the experience if done well, and Planet With is very much an example of this. It can be subtle at points, used to add to the comedy of certain characters, such as Sensei's feet making ridiculous squeaking noises every time he takes a step. At other times though, Planet With knows how to go big with its sound. My favourite example is one of the ceiling devices that Grand Paladin and Soya faces off against, and I'll let the scene speak for itself. It's 
Yeah, I, I'd lowered the volume for a bit on that, by the way. Nothing says shit just got real like sudden booming sound design deployed in the manner you just saw, deliberately disconcerting the viewer whilst letting them know that the stakes just got even higher in this fight scene. I'm just a, a big old geek for this sort of thing. I'd love for more shows to take advantage of such techniques. For a short series with a pretty large cast of characters, Planet With nonetheless manages to expand upon and develop its cast in a variety of cunning ways. We get a whole host of insights into the members of Grand Paladin through the dream sequences they experience when bringing down the ceiling devices, cleverly combining character building with dramatic set piece moments. Our main gang's backgrounds, motivations and natures are carefully revealed throughout the series, and the show never just goes for some stock info dump with its characters. I get the impression that Mizukami is a guy who gets a lot out of developing and cleverly revealing the natures of his cast, and this was one of the things I loved most about this show. So it is honestly a breath of fresh air in terms of anime protagonists, given that so many of them are written in ways that frustrate the fuck out of me at points. Looking at you, buddy. He's not some dull tabula rasa automaton put in place for the viewer to project onto, and neither is he this perpetually angry roid monkey who keeps screwing things up because he can't get his shit together. He goes through a variety of motivations, emotional states, and outlooks as the series progresses, growing from a selfish desire for revenge to a mature, reasoned intent to defend his adopted homeworld. And these developments have clearly been shaped by the people he's had in his life along the way. He may follow the hero's journey in an unconventional manner, but he still hits the beats more than enough to have you genuinely rooting for him. Sensei is also a character well worth talking about because I love the way Planet With develops him over the course of the show. At the start, he seems like he's going to be some comedic side character, this giant cat guy who only communicates by going yeah. and who has a bit of a thing for anime girls and manga. Plenty of shows would have just left it there and they would have had a perfectly decent and amusing character. Yet Mizukami goes that one step further in Sensei's character and backstory, slowly revealing him to be a very moral, principled figure and the main opposition to the group dispatching the ceiling devices to Earth. Sure, he can be funny as hell at points, but he's also a brilliant mentor figure to Soya alongside his ally Ginko. This is a great example of how you give a little more depth to a character and how it can turn a figure within a story from just another comic relief figure to a genuinely distinct and memorable part of the show. I should also take a moment to enthuse about the general design and look of Planet With, because goddamn if this isn't one of the most vibrant and distinct sci-fi series I've seen in a good wee while. Maybe it's because I've been on a bit of a hard sci-fi kick of late, but there's something really fun about a series willing to utilize the full color spectrum as part of their designs and aesthetic. Every group and faction within this story is instantly recognizable, every mecha design telling you a bit about the person behind it and what sort of person they are. It's just a shame about the methods they use to depict these designs. Look, we've mentioned this more than a few times in the nearly 20 videos we've done for this channel. CG graphics and anime often look like trash. It's jarring. It takes you out of the experience. It tries to mesh two very distinct visual mediums without finding the means to blend them effectively. Some shows find ways to get around this issue. I'd, I'd say that Trigger is pulling this off with their latest mecha series. But Planet With is unfortunately one of those shows guilty of doing the CG when it comes to their mecha depictions. And I'd be a liar if I said it didn't hinder my enjoyment somewhat. There are certainly points where it isn't that bad, squint your eyes, acknowledge that it isn't ideal, but let the fact that the action segments themselves are engaging enough to let you overlook the issue. But there's more than a few moments when the CG is just a bit too egregious for me not to get frustrated by the whole thing. I mean, I, I get why studios use 3D animation, particularly for mecha. Animating action sequences is expensive, and this helps cut down the costs, but there gets to a point where it jars too heavily with the traditional animation and you just have to call time out. Planet With sadly has a few of these moments, though I would stress that it never annoyed me enough to completely take me out of the experience. The characters and story had me invested enough that I was willing to ride out some of the more egregious CG moments. Another frustrating element is the story's over-reliance on tell rather than show info dumps. This is sadly a common thing amongst anime shows of the sci-fi persuasion, but what's especially frustrating is that Planet With very often doesn't need to resort to these tactics. There are more than a few scenes that have been written and animated to convey the necessary information on their own, but the creators still felt the need to include unnecessary voiceover and monologues just to make extra sure you understood this particular element of the story. It's not like this is a, a visual medium or anything. Let's just make real sure every member of the audience fully understands what's going on, even the guy whose brain is leaking out of his ears. These are, however, my only real complaints about the series, and in the grand scheme of things, the positives massively outweigh the negatives when it comes to Planet With.
Look, this isn't your traditional mecha action series. For some people, that might be an issue, but speaking from a personal experience, it was one of the things I most enjoyed about it. It's great to see new mecha shows that are willing to take risks and try something different, that are happy to poke some fun at some of the sillier elements of the medium whilst remembering to tell a good story in their own right. Sure, it's, it's a bit unorthodox, and sure, the story is pretty strange, but it incorporates this strangeness into the plot in a consistent and pretty reasonable way. That's what a well-written story looks like. If you find yourself looking for a new mecha series to get into whilst you wait for the rest of fall 2018 to roll itself out, or if you're looking for a show that does things a bit different, Planet With is something I can genuinely recommend to you. Look past the at times janky fusion of 2D and 3D elements, and you get a truly distinct series with a brilliant visual style and a lot of funny moments that easily rivals the big science fiction releases this year. Oh.